What's up guys? It's me, your girl Alisa from StylishCurves.com and today your girl is back with the new video. Oh. <laughs> so for today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my $500 ASOS Curve Fall Fashion Haul. A mouthful. Yes, your girl spent some coin over at the ASOS's and I'm going to show you everything that I got. So if you're interested in checking out this video, then you guys already know what to do. And that is to keep on watching. All right, guys, so let's jump right in and get started. So I literally have about 14 or 15 pieces here. I have basically an entire wardrobe for fall. Like I need nothing else. But knowing me, I'm going to still buy other stuff. <laughs> but I feel like I really got some cute stuff. And I think some things might be misses. But you, you know what? You guys will see for yourself. And then you can let me know what you think are keepers and items that I should possibly send back. I did not mean <laughs> to order so many items from ASOS. But I have like a love-hate relationship with ASOS. And that it, it's a healthy, good love-hate relationship. What it is is that I feel like ASOS, they have so many good things and the good things sell out so fast especially for their asos curve you literally have to check that every day to find some good gems because if you check something and you find a good gem most of the time it's sold out in your size or it's basically completely sold out so i kind of got caught up in checking asos every day and i wound up doing like three different orders for them in a matter of like two weeks and i was just like you know what girl you don't need no more so just stop <laughs> all right because i have so much you might want to get you a little snack or drink i'm gonna try to be as quick as possible so you know what i'm gonna stop my gapping now and let's get into this asos curve full haul all right so i am actually wearing the first piece that i got i saw this dress on the asos curve site and i was just like oh my gosh that is so chic and i felt like it was a little bit different than the typical blazer dresses and what i really liked was these the gold button details on the front of this and how the silhouette is very kind of straight up and down it's, it's like a column silhouette but i feel like it's enough details on it to make it stand out and then i love that it hits above the knee and i just thought this was really cute now this is a stretch scuba material so it's very smooth and soft but it's definitely stretchy this is a perfect fall dress because i feel like this would definitely look good with a pair of like maybe even strappy sandals now and then obviously with tights as the weather cools off i freaking love this dress i just think it's so chic and modern and i really just love how it skims over the curves and then I love this square neckline. This right here, oh, I just feel like it's it's classy. And look, I also got, for the second item, I also got a little chain from ASOS. Let me show you. So I saw this gold chain link necklace and I thought it would look really cute with this dress. Now ASOS definitely has some good jewelry. Listen, good costume jewelry. I have something from them that I got literally maybe six years ago and it's still still going strong so this is what the chain necklace looks like and i just thought this would be a really nice fall look serve on you guys oh and this is what the dress looks like from the back and it also has shoulder pads i didn't mention that it has shoulder pads i'm debating whether or not i want to take the shoulder pads out or not um, I feel like if I would have sized down in this, the buttons would have pulled. Because up here, I'm not going to lie, it feels a little, just like a tad bit too big. But I mean, it's nothing that can't be fixed or taken to the tailor because I really like this dress. And then also the buttons are functional. So you can unbutton it and create a whole different kind of look or rock this just as an open blazer if you want it. So definitely a winner for me. Ooh, do you guys see this do you guys see this so this is asos design 
Uh, this is their satin wide leg pantsuit. I'm keeping this. <laughs> this without a question, without a shadow of a doubt. This I'm keeping. This looks fabulous. This is, this is, I'm giving rich auntie vibes, aren't I? Oh! <laughs> so this is a belted, this feels more like a shirt than a blazer. So the, it's a little relaxed fit, kind of oversized. Then it has these buttons in the front, but you can't see it. So the buttons are hidden on the inside. And then it has this really wide opening here. So you can see my bra a little bit. So I think I would have to find a different type of bra to go with this, or I would have to wear something under it. Um, I don't know. Like I feel like I can play around with it. Nonetheless, it is, it's beautiful. I think this is actually very pretty. Now the pants are wide leg. The jacket I got in a 20 in my regular ASOS curve size, and this fits pretty good as well. I feel like I might be fidgeting a little bit with this because even though the buttons are hidden, the way they are, they kind of pull just like a tiny bit. So I don't know, I could probably put some, um, you know, fabric tape there and keep it closed. But nonetheless, this is really nice and it has a bell sleeve. Look at that. Could give you my Patti LaBelle. <laughs> nonetheless, I love it. So let me turn all the way around so you guys can see. You know what, this is kind of pajamas too. This is, you know, cook a little dinner, have a little date night at the house, throw this on and then take it off. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think. I think this will look good too with that gold necklace. I don't know what I did with it now, but let me know in the comment section, what do you guys think about this? Okay guys, keep it real with me. So this dress is a drape PU faux leather dress. When I saw it on the site, I was like, oh, you know, the model looked really cute in it. And then I was, I'm a sucker for details. So I like the ruche detailing here around the midsection. And then I love off the shoulder. If you've been following me for any period of time, you know, I love me something that falls off the shoulder. And just the fact that it was kind of like a, um, this is, I feel like this is like a taupe kind of t uh, beige color. What would I say? It's kind of like a blush pink too. I don't know what color you would call this. But <laughs> I like the color of this dress and I just thought it was very chic. Kind of sophisticated but a little trendy as well. But I don't know how I really feel about it because I feel like the top part feels so awkward. You know, I'm like, should it both be off the shoulder like this but then it doesn't go all the way down? Or should I just do it one side? Like, I feel like I would be annoyed all day in this. Because <laughs> I would be like, I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> but I do like the overall look of this. So I want y'all to let me know. Leave me a comment. Is this a keeper? Or send this bad boy back? I'm truly on the fence. So I love the color and the print of this blazer. I love it. The only thing is that it is too big. So this is from the Collusion brand on ASOS and I find that the Collusion brand is cut a little all over the place and every time I bought something from Collusion I should have known by now to size down because whenever I get my true size in Collusion it's always just too big. Now this jacket is supposed to fit oversized. It's like an oversized dad blazer so it's supposed to be big but I think this is a little bit too much. Like, <laughs> look how much I can wrap it over. Now, I would belt this. A belted blazer is always chic and classy, honey. I would definitely belt it. But what I did before it sells out, before it sells out was I ordered, again today, a smaller size. Because I really love the print. This neon green and this cobalt blue. And then look, the lining is also neon green. So if you roll up your sleeves look how cute that looks look how cute that looks definitely fabulous with jeans obviously gonna be cute with anything else even a nice little pencil skirt would be nice with this now it does have shoulder pads these shoulder pads are strong too these are blue 42 hut hut yes this is linebacker shoulder pads <laughs> this is what it looks like from the back uh it does have sealed pockets on the side I'm here for it and I can't wait to get the smaller size because I'm ready to wear this now, like ASAP. 
All right, guys. So next up is this shirt dress with front ruching details on it. Now, when I saw this, I, I was just drawn to the color. I don't know who I am, but I'm really digging chocolate brown. Because sometimes I feel like clothes that really uh, blend in with your skin tone, sometimes you can get lost in there but i'm really digging this and i just feel like it's such a pretty color for fall and then of course i love the ruche detailing here which is really flattering and then i love that this is a bodycon fit at the bottom and then you get kind of like a nice little uh relaxed shirt fit at the top now with this particular shirt dress there's no closure here so it kind of just stays open um, you would definitely have to be careful of the kind of bra you wear with it, but nonetheless, I'm digging this. I thought this was cute too. It hits right above the knee, and I feel like this is a little sexy. Definitely something you could rock now, and of course later, and this is what it looks like from the back. So it looks really nice from the back, and again, very cute, and it has stretch in it, so it's very stretchy. It's lightweight, comfortable. I'm feeling it. Ow. And no. <laughs> so I also picked up a pair of black coated pants. Now these are from Simply B on ASOS. So I sized up in them because Simply B sizing is always a little wonky to me. Um, and I kind of think I should have just gotten my true size because these have stretch in it. And I do feel like they're like really loose. Like that's how much room I have in it. But it, I mean, I can combat that by just simply wearing a belt to you know cinch it in a little more but i thought that these were cute because they're not like fully uh full on faux leather where the inside is faux leather as well and then you know you make that sound when you walk <laughs> these actually they make a sound you hear it yeah they make a sound but it's not it's not that bad so <laughs> i thought that these were cute and um just a nice break from my faux leather leggings and just something that's a little more heavier than my faux leather leggings and again just thought they were simple yet cute this is what they look like from the back and yeah they go all the way down to my ankle and they have they're supposed to be skinny leg and they kind of fit me more like a straight leg especially when it gets down to the ankles but nonetheless really cute i like them um i think i want to maybe exchange them for one size down because i feel like as i walk and move it's gonna stretch even more and then they'll be like super baggy in the crotch and then i'll get like that v crease here we don't want that <laughs> so anyway um this i can wear with multiple things so um i'm actually now going to put it on with the top that i got from asos as well so next up, I have this wrap knit sweater in this beautiful, beautiful burnt orange color. So this is a true wrap, so you can adjust it to fit as loose or as tight as you want. Also, look at the sleeves. So these are the exaggerated billowy puff kind of sleeves, kind of like bat wings a little bit, but <laughs> it's very on trend. These sleeves have been on trend for like two years now and I really love sleeves like this. So it also has um, a ribbed kind of cuff at the end of the sleeve so that way you get all of the drapiness and the billowiness and it's just a really cute sweater now this sweater does hit short so if you're a person who likes your sweaters to come all the way down here you may not like this but i'm fine with having shorter sweaters this is how the sweater looks from the back so as you can see i was able to wrap it around twice and still get a little more room so again uh this one i think i got my true size in this one uh this is asos design so like i said in there in asos clothing i'm a true 20 sometimes a 22 at the bottom but nonetheless very nice we like the color has my skin glowing illuminating <laughs> and it's a really good fall color next up is this black sweater knit skirt this is such a cute skirt i got this from the fashion killer brand on asos curve so this particular brand i think it goes up to a size what 22 maybe it goes all the way up to 24 because you guys know how some asos 
curve brands don't really go all the way up to like a 24 or 26 but anyway this one i think does and i thought this stretch knit skirt was so cute because of the button front detail now these buttons are vanity buttons they don't do anything they have no function <laughs> and i do like the split in the front as well and then obviously the skirt just definitely hugs up on the curves now this one it has a stretch elastic waist uh at the top and it just fits really good i'm totally digging it this kind of skirt i would totally throw on like a little biker jacket with this i think would be cute as you can see it has a lot of stretch so you can size down in this i think i size down in this instead of when it comes to asos i'm really about like a 20 in asos but quarantine got your girl <laughs> so i've definitely put on some pounds so i feel like i'm in between sizes and you know it is what it is <laughs> but nonetheless this skirt definitely fits really good and i cannot wait to style it this is how it looks from the back giving you all of this body no <laughs> all right guys moving right along we getting through it okay <laughs> so i did find this white cotton shirt with exaggerated sleeves this is part of asos design and i really just thought this top was really cute i thought it was you know different and fun and also just a little dramatic <laughs> so as i said earlier i like the puff sleeves i think sleeves like this are really nice and i love how extra exaggerated and dramatic these sleeves were now this is supposed to fit relaxed but i think i have a little too much room here so i want to possibly exchange it and go down one size I got this in a 20 and I should have probably gotten an 18. Uh, as you can see, there's extra volume here. And when I looked at the model, the model looked like hers was more fitted here. And then, you know, obviously the sleeves being dramatic, um, exaggerated. Nonetheless, this is a cute shirt. I definitely would rock this with jeans like I have one now. And I would totally do like a half tuck. So I like how it looks like this. And I can obviously like, you know, just open this up a little and if you are a busty chick like me then this is a really good shirt because it has so much room here that you wouldn't have to worry about your buttons pulling so that's also what i like about this i still think i could size down one this is how it looks from the back so as you can see you get a lot of room and a longer uh, shirt tail here now if i didn't tuck it this is how the shirt looks just straight hanging out so the only thing is but if i button this last button you can see like it's a little tight right here that's why i said i would do the half tuck and just you know tuck the front anyway let me know what you guys think about this because i'm on the fence and i think really i just need to size it down so let me know what you think about the exaggerated sleeves on this this is what i would call choir director sleeves you know i'm a church girl so <laughs> this is something the choir director would be getting in on sunday with like her little pencil skirt and she would be like pop, pop. <laughs> anyway let me know what you think all right so i got another black skirt but this time it's a faux leather skirt and i got this from river island this is actually my first piece that I've ever gotten from River Island Plus. I never ever shopped the brand before, so I saw this skirt on ASOS and I thought it was really cute. I love the uh, pocket detail here on the sides. I thought that was really cool. And then I love the exposed zipper. Uh, you know, I, I feel like it's flattering, especially in the midsection. And it's a functional zipper, so I can zip it all the way down to get out of it. <laughs> and I really like the fit on this. Now, I sized, I definitely sized up on this. I still think it fits good. Um, I do have room in it. And I just really thought this was cool. Um, it doesn't, I mean, no, I wouldn't say it has stretch. It definitely doesn't have stretch. But this is something that definitely will look great with a turtleneck or even a cute little bomber jacket or something with this I thought would be cute. Definitely tall boots when the weather gets colder and I can obviously rock it now with, you know, pumps or even sneakers. Love this. All right, so next up is a pair of pajamas that I found on ASOS. This set is so cute. It comes with a little camisole top and then also shorts. 
so I don't remember if I bought this separate or as one but I think I did size up because I knew anytime there's shorts I always size up with shorts it doesn't matter <laughs> because I didn't want it to be too tight and uncomfortable but this and I do not like navy blue well this is more of like a midnight blue but this set is so cute it has the black lace detailing around the neckline and then it also has it on the shorts as well like on the side the fabric is also satin so it's very soft and smooth and kind of silky this set is a must have the waist on the shorts are elastic and they have a drawstring so that's that's good because that's definitely going to make it comfortable when sleeping but this is something that you could totally lounge around the house in at night and obviously fall asleep and this is just a really really cute set I really like it I'm glad that I got it all right so next up is this green double breasted blazer now this is from River Island on ASOS and I'm in love so this one I actually have been eyeing for a while on ASOS and this baby finally went on sale so I picked it up and I thought it was really cute so I like the gold button details on this and I do like that it's a little oversized and that it is longer. I, see, that's one of the things I love about ASOS is that I can find longer blazers. Because I feel like with other plus size brands, the blazers are always kind of like what I would say corporate cut. <laughs> They're always like at the hip or a little above the hip and very structured. So this, I love that it's oversized, it's relaxed, and it's longer. So it hits mid thigh on me in the front. Yep. So color, amazing color. There's no stretch in this, but I did size up and I'm glad that I did because it gives me the fit that I wanted. And with all my blazers, I always just, you know, push up the sleeves. This is what it looks like from the back. And I actually have a pair of faux leather shorts for this it's gonna be a really cute look I can't wait to try it together but for the most part I would totally rock this with jeans like I am now and yeah cute something you can wear now and definitely when that weather temperature drops all right guys so that is it for me I hope that you enjoyed today's video like I said I will link everything down in the description box along with the sizes that I got don't forget let me know which pieces I should keep or what you think I should send back I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. If you have not, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, if you are not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? Make sure you're following Stylish Curves on Instagram. And if you're looking for more plus size style, fashion, and beauty, make sure you check out the blog, stylishcurves.com. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.